Alrighty, well, welcome back everyone. We are in Tirana, Albania. We decided that we'd show you what a regular day in the life with us is like. Um, as you can probably tell, Nick and I are both exhausted. Uh, it's not that early, it's like 9 a.m., but we both worked till midnight and then probably didn't fall asleep till 1 or 1.30, so yeah. it's still a pretty early morning. We slept like so. Um, but where are we going first, Nick, after we just woke up and brushed our teeth? We're going to the gym. Uh, we have this gym by us that we signed up for a month. Uh, it's called Repeat, and yeah. It's really nice. I think it's really honestly nice. been like Shockingly the nicest nice. gym that we've signed up for, like during our whole travels, so. Yeah. Um, but it is gonna be a bit of a quicker workout because we have some stuff to do after. Yeah. But at least we were like, let's get out of the house. We wanted to wake up at eight moving. and get moving, but we didn't get out of the house until nine. So now we're on a bit of a time crunch, so it'll be a quick workout. Yeah. It's raining. <laughs> but we're almost there. I feel like we might not be able to walk to where we want to go later, but we'll see. This is our life. This is our life. That's the... You plan something and nature brings you back down to reality. Looks like we're leaving the gym right on time because the power's out in the building for the gym. Yeah, so we're gonna take that as a sign. We're gonna take that as a sign to go home, quickly shower, and then head to our next thing, yeah? So our gym like isn't far from the house. It's maybe like a five-ish minute walk. I'm really glad that we got it. I was really hesitant on getting it in the first place because I hate going to the gym. Do you like going to the gym? Yes. I absolutely can't stand going to the gym. So Anna had to convince me to sign up for the gym, but I'm really glad that we did. Well, I managed to make a mistake. Of course, right when we get before the apartment, I realized that I left my phone at the gym. So Nick went back to go get my phone and I'm gonna go shower and get ready but that's after I climb five flights of stairs to our apartment. This has been the major workout of living here in Albania is living on a fifth floor walk up so. Okay so you'll have to excuse our brevity in recording our getting ready routine. We have about 18 minutes until we have to be at the nail salon so we very quickly showered and now we're on our way. So let me get dressed and we'll, we'll go. It's too warm. I should have worn pants. <laughs> it is like the almost the end of October and it's, I think it's 75 degrees right now, but it's like humid because it just rained and the sun's out and we all know I complain about that. So bit of a sweaty Betty. We're almost like, almost, almost halfway there. Yeah, okay. So, there's that. <laughs> Nothing like taking 34K out of an ATM. <laughs> no money fits in my American wallet because the bills are too wide. I have to be like my mom. Mom's got her, like, U.S. American wallet, and then she has her, like, Poland wallet because it's, like, wider and it holds all the bills. How far do you think we have? Probably like another 20 minutes. Yeah, I'd probably say 25. Yeah? Okay. Let's get it. Number four from Cape Town. <laughs> That's from Cape Town? Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's been a month.
Halloween mans. Woo. Now it's time for the tootsies. Tootsies? The tootsies, yeah. I love them. So cute. Now I feel like it's Halloween even though it's 75 degrees outside. <laughs> okay. Well, just got done with my nails. Nick forgot that I also said that I'm getting a pedicure. Yeah. So oh, I was there way longer than I wanted to be. Okay, but, but the pedicure only took like another like 30, 40 minutes. So right. the whole appointment took about two hours. I got gel with designs, got these Halloween designs, and then I also got a gel pedicure. Guess how much it cost? It was 2500 in Leck, which is the equivalent of $25, which for us is very good. And then I tipped her an extra five, so it was, we'll call it $30 total for a gel manicure with designs and a pedicure, so I'm pretty happy. Now it is later. Um, it's about like what, one o'clock? It's like one o'clock, yeah. So we're about to eat brunch. I'm starving. Yeah, I'm I've been I'm like starving since now before too. we even got to the nail salon, so I'm like hungry. So now it's time to go get some food. It's, it's like a brrrr. It's like a brrrr. It's like a brrrr. You don't need to leave. I hope you hear this God. later on. <laughs> Just for that. Love like, you. Right. So wait, why don't we tell them why we chose Albania? Because we never really explained like why we go to the places we go to, but Albania is kind of like not a typical tourist destination or a typical uh -huh. digital nomad destination. Why did we pick? Well, I think you and I are both very comfortable with traveling in Eastern Europe. Yeah. Um, Talk. Other thing is that I have dual citizenship, Nick does not, so because of that, we do have to stay to the 90 days in the Shenzhen zone. For those of you that don't know, you can stay 90 days as a US citizen within a six month span in the Shenzhen zone. And there's a bunch of countries that apply and a couple that don't. After that, you gotta go back somewhere else for 90 days and then you can come back. So yes, you can stay a total of six months within a year, but you can't do it in a row. Like it's 90 days, you go somewhere else 90 days, and then you can come back. That's the reason why we've gone back to South Africa twice, because we can also be there 90 days as US citizens. But Albania, we decided we wanted to be in Europe for a little bit of a longer time. So we had to pick a country that wasn't part of the Schengen zone, which Albania is not. Albania is not, so. Serbia is not, North Macedonia is not, and a lot of Baltic uh, countries are not part of the Schengen zone. Bulgaria is so not. Bulgaria is not. We spent time, there, time there as well. So that's sort of the reason why. And this um, way we can stay in Europe longer, where now we're technically going to be in Europe for four months, but it's one month here in Albania, which is not Schengen zone. And then we're going to do three months in a row in EU countries that are part of the Schengen zone. So you'll get to see us do that. And then after that, we're going somewhere else before 90 days before we can come back again to Europe. Yeah. So we're at our new favorite restaurant, Hugo. We've been coming here pretty often. Like several times a week, but it's been for like breakfast. And like we've never come after one o'clock. And right now it's like about 1.30 was when they switched their menu. And like Nick and I are both like, damn. Like this we've been coming here for lunch is insane. Like bre bre breakfast, breakfast here has been good. great. That's why we keep coming back here. But now I'm like, damn it. We live in a couple of days and we should have came here more for dinner. We should have came here more for dinner and lunch because this menu is yeah. insane. We're going to ball out for this lunch. <laughs> We are starting. Oh, can we get the mini burgers and share? Sure. So the first thing we ordered here is our Caesar salad. Oh my goodness Pretty gracious. Mixed. I'm very excited about this. I'm pumped for this because normally we'll when we come here for breakfast, we always get the club sandwich, and the club sandwich does have the salad in it, so it should be good. Thank you. Would you like to have some Oh sure. And we've got some some Tuna. salmon tartare. Oh yes, Let's salmon. Go. What came, babe? The burgers. And what the did we pasta. get? We got three mini burgers, some fries, and some tagliatelle. That looks good. And we still have to finish this. We still have so much and this, food. Left. And we got some coffees as well. Babes is hungry. I'm hungry. I'm starving. You think we're going to finish all this? No. <laughs> no. No way. 
Oh, so we finished our meal. It was delicious. We got our bill. We paid it. How much do you think this costs? And I'll list off everything that we, we just ate. Okay. So we had four coffees in total, a large bottle of water, salmon tartare, Caesar salad, three mini burgers with fries. You had tagatelli with chicken and mushrooms. That's everything that we got here. And we did not finish it, no. So we're taking the pasta and the burgers for home for takeaway. So we'll be able to eat some of that later on today when we're working. But the grand total with tip was um, 4,600. 48. Oh, 4,800, which is $48. $48. I mean, it's, it's the most expensive meal that we've had so far in Albania, but also, like, we balled out. We balled we out because... ate everything. Yeah, yeah. So, and four coffees. Like, four coffees. These are, like, it's not... I don't even think this is $2 for Minus $2. Here's is $1.40. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you so much. Thank you. Yum. Alrighty. So... This day's been a bit longer than we expected it to be, so now it's pretty much three o'clock and this is the time that we usually start work at. So we're heading back to the apartment and we're gonna clock in, get some work done, and then do the other typical day-to-day -day things that we do. I just clocked in to work, so did Nick. This is what my workstation looks like. Over here, I have like a travel work monitor, um, that sort of thing. This is like, personal laptop where we edit like YouTube videos and stuff on the MacBook. Nick has a separate office. Since we're both constantly in Zoom meetings, we always look to make sure that our places have separate workspaces. So this is Nick's workstation. Basically now catch up on emails, that sort of thing beginning of the workday stuff and then other boring adult things that we have to do today is we have to do laundry later on i was gonna cook dinner but we have some leftovers so we'll see if i do cook anything um but that's kind of what we have planned for today and as you can probably tell i do have laundry i need to put away but i'm gonna wait until i wash <laughs> the new loads to put this away we air dry everything um, great thing about being in apartments in Europe is that majority of the time I honestly think like we've only been in an apartment once that doesn't have like a drying rack like this but we have gotten very accustomed to air drying things. Before even leaving America I had one of these back home in Chicago too uh, so we got pretty used to air drying things. It also helped prevent like Nick from ruining certain clothes that don't belong in the dryer, but better for the environment, doesn't mess up your clothes as quickly. Usually things that are like our must haves when we're staying in Airbnbs, it's always Wi-Fi number one, because obviously we both work from home. I even message hosts ahead of time before even booking, asking for them to do a speed test and for them to send it to me, just because we're both in Zoom meetings at the same time constantly and we need a good bandwidth. And so Wi-Fi, washer to obviously clean our clothes, designated workspace. Usually what ends up happening is there's always like one in an apartment. So like one of us will have an office and the other one will work in the kitchen, which is fine. If it's like summertime, I'll pick like air conditioning as an option too, but those are always like our must haves. And if you guys are interested too and like want to find out a little bit more like how I find long-term rentals on Airbnb, feel free to put a comment down below. and Maybe I can do a little bit more of that in the next video. Or if you have any questions on like how I do find good long-term stays because so far we've been doing this for a year and I'd say like 90% of our apartments have been a hit. There have been like a couple that like just certain things haven't been like necessarily the best but still doable over the long-term stay. So if you have any questions, please feel free to put them down below and I'll chat about them next time. Did some emails, gonna throw in this load of laundry real quick then go back to work. It's starting to rain more so it's getting louder. At least here, when we first got here, the washing machine, the instructions are in English, so it's pretty easy to use, but it didn't help for whatever reason. Our washing machine wasn't, like, the screen doesn't work, so the first time we tried to do a load of laundry, it took, like, three hours. <laughs> but now we know the quick setting is the one to use. But English, at least it's helpful, because otherwise, I feel like we've used Google Lens to translate the washing machine several times before. Yeah. I see one. Cool, 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 cool. Okay. 
back to doing some nine to five stuff. Oh, if I didn't say it earlier, we work American hours, so we work central hours, so we usually end up working like three to midnight is what we do. And it's not too bad, not the like best, but I'll take this over working overnight in a hospital when I used to work 7 p.m. to 7 a.m. So 3 p.m. to midnight's not too bad. And we at least had like the days off to be able to travel and explore. And it's a good thing we did because it was nicer out today. And now it's fucking storming. Wait, can we talk about that cable? <laughs> you probably can't see it on can't camera, it. but. time now I think it's almost eight o'clock yeah it's about 7 45 and I've just been in back-to-back -back meetings for the last three hours so it's been a bit crazy uh, the water got shut off in the building again so we had to restart the laundry cycle as soon as it came back on but now I only have 15 minutes before I start my next work meeting so I'm gonna try to quickly hang up this laundry and get that done at least before this meeting starts so yay <laughs> 